Hey everybody, this is Stellar Firefly, and in this video tutorial we're going to go over how to install the DZMS add-on, aka the DAISY Mission System add-on, to your GTX Gaming DAISY server. But wait, some of you are saying, you just made a DZAI installation video. Isn't installing DZMS pretty much the same thing? In fact, it's almost exactly the same thing, and thus it's just as easy. But there are some whom have asked me to make a DZMS install video anyway, usually because they're still kind of new to the process and they want to make sure that they're getting it right. Though there was one person who said, it looks kind of different to me, but maybe I'm just not understanding it right. Can you actually go through the steps again so I can compare them? No problem at all. Let's do this. First, let's download DZMS to our local drive. To find it, just run a Google search for DZMS, and the first hit takes you straight to the epicmod.com forums. The first post is a description and feature list for DZMS, followed by a download instructions link to GitHub, so we'll click on that. On the GitHub page, we'll click on the Download Zip button at the far right to download the zip. Then we'll scroll down a bit on that page to see the installation instructions. Now this should look kind of familiar to those of you who've watched my DZAI installation tutorial video, or installed DZAI yourselves. It wants us to unpack our server.pbo file and toss a folder called DZMS into it. Then edit the server underscore monitor dot sqf file by looking for the line allow connection equals true and adding another line above it. Yeah, sound familiar? But it also adds a note that if we have DZAI or Wicked AI installed, then the DZMS line should go underneath the others. Cool, no problem. We'll select the line that we need to add now and copy it to our clipboard so that we can paste it in later. We'll now head over to our TC admin control panel and shut down our server so that we can safely make changes to it. Then we'll click on the Extract PBO icon and press OK to execute the script, then wait until it says it's all finished, then we'll close the window. Now that our .pbo is extracted, we'll click on the File Manager icon and navigate to where our server underscore monitor dot sqf file is located so that we can edit it. Archives, at daisy underscore epic underscore server, add-ons, system. There's our server underscore monitor dot sqf file, so we'll click on the pencil icon across from it to edit it. As the instruction stated, we'll search for the allow connection line by using our browser search function, usually control F. When we find it, we'll paste the DZMS line right above it and right below the DZAI line just like it told us. Once again, I like to add a brief comment above any edits that I make just for future reference. We're done with the file editing, so we'll click on the Save button up top and make sure that it says the file was saved. Done with the first half of our installation. For the second half, the instructions wanted us to copy the DZMS folder into the PBO package. So first we'll go find our downloaded .zip file and open it up. We'll go into the DZMS-Daisy Mission System-Master folder, and right away we find the folder we're looking for, the one just called DZMS. We'll drag it out of the zip archive and into a folder or our desktop or somewhere just so that it's extracted from the archive. Now we'll fire up our FTP client and connect to our server. We'll navigate into the folder archives at daisy underscore epic underscore server add-ons and then we'll just upload the DZMS folder straight into this directory. Now that everything's in place, we'll just head back to our TC Admin Control Panel and click on the Create PBO icon and press OK to execute the script. We'll wait a bit for it to repackage the PBO, then, when it says that it's all done, close the window. So, yeah, told you it was easy. Also, told you that it's almost exactly like installing DZAI, which is also really easy. Fire up your server again and test it out before you do any further customizations to it, just to first make sure that it's actually running correctly. The default installation for DZMS, and for DZAI for that matter, is so simple and straightforward, if it doesn't seem like it's working at all, then chances are that you made a simple little mistake somewhere, which happens to all of us from time to time. Or, more likely, you're also running some other add-on that just doesn't get along well with what you're trying to install. This is why when you're asking for assistance, either in the GTX Gaming forums or in the comments below, it's helpful to let others know what other add-ons you're trying to run alongside them. That way, if there's any known incompatibilities or other issues with running certain add-ons or mods or maps together, then other people who may have encountered the same problem may be able to spot it right away and let you know. 
Alright then, a simple end to a simple tutorial. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully this will help cement the process for those of you new admins who may still be having trouble getting a grasp on it. Please don't hesitate to like or subscribe if you feel so inclined, and as ever, good luck, have fun, and watch your back.